What's up, my beautiful babes? So, you guys know the deal with these videos. I'm about to give a wig a major makeover, an overhaul. It's gonna be so cute, so fierce, so fine. <laughs> Today, I'm using a blonde wig, and it's gonna get a major colorful makeover. I wanna do something way out of the box, super creative, use tons of different colors, and make it just really crazy. We're gonna see what happens. But, first of all, I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love Audible. I've been using Audible since, like, probably high High school, which was a while ago. Let's not talk about it. I hate reading books. If you know me, you know that. And Audible was perfect for me because I could just sit there and listen to the books that I actually really wanted to read but just didn't want to sit there and read them. I'm a multitasking queen and that is why Audible works for me. I've been listening to the book Million Dollar Stylist on Audible. It is such a great book. I love informational self-help books so much and this one is actually centered around being a hairstylist and really just telling you the secrets of the industry and the things you don't necessarily learn in hair school. So it's super helpful if any of you guys out there are hairstylists, which I know a lot of you guys are. Some people don't make a lot in this industry and some people make a ton, but that is the difference. It's people that educate themselves with books like this. Definitely make sure you check it out if you guys are interested in learning how you can maximize your growth in the hair industry. So if you sign up today, you'll get a 30 day trial and your first book is free. You can sign up at audible.com slash bradmondo or text bradmondo to 500500. Again, that's audible.com slash bradmondo or text bradmondo to 500500. I feel like I'm on an American Idol and I'm telling you to vote for me, but I love it. <laughs> Girl, nothing is better than kicking back with a little audiobook in the summer, on a beach, on a run, on a hike. Stuff that I don't do, but should be doing. It's fine. Once in a while, I'll go run on the treadmill and listen to an audiobook. I'm learning while I run. Get at me. So thank you, Audible, so much for sponsoring today's video. And just one more thing, sponsors like Audible make it possible for me to do the, these things that I love and make you guys amazing quality content. And if you guys use my link, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it and love all of you so much. Anyways, let's get on to what you came here for. Let me put my wig on real quick. I'll be right back. <sighs> Voila. Here is today's victim. Ratchet Central is here. She's definitely been through it, seen better days, and we're gonna we're gonna give her some better days today. She's gonna get a crazy, crazy makeover with colors. And I don't know what it's gonna be yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> let's get it started. So I know this really looks very creepy. Um, there's a bag over what appears to look like a head, but uh, we're just gonna ignore it, all right? So <laughs> we're gonna start off with pastel blue on her roots and then a lot of different colors going on. So let's start off with that. Let's get it done. Hey guys, so a little tip before I keep going. I love to paint the hair back like this when I'm doing a root color because if I'm painting everything into the root all over like this and I paint it back, because the head is round, when we let the hair go fall back into position, all of these colors are gonna be at different heights. See how this one is higher and this one's lower? It's because we're painting it all backwards and then because of the roundness of her head, it kind of staggers the color on, on the hair. If that makes any sense, I don't know how else to explain it. I tried my best, so I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, beautiful. So the blue is all done. The root color is laid. So we're gonna do purple and pink for the end colors. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing as I go. I'm gonna do majority of the underneath of her hair purple and then kind of do the tips pink. And then as we work up on the hair, I'm gonna bring more pink up here and less purple, but just so she has a really cool variation of color going on. So you'll see what I do. All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you guys can maybe see, I'm doing purple mids, pink mids, purple mids, pink mids, and then alternating on the bottom also. That way she has good contrast going through and it's not all one just solid color in the middle and ends. She kind of has that pink and purple all mixed together. All right, you guys, so I just finished it up. I am literally obsessed with this. I hope it comes out the same way that it looks right now. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the pastel colors being a little bit too muted because the wig's hair color was a little bit yellow to start with. I'm just hoping that it penetrates deep enough to actually color the hair, but I think that it will. I think that it's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna let this process for 20 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it out, possibly do a haircut, but I think I might not. We shall see, we'll see what happens. Blow dry it and show you guys the end results. So I will see you then. All right, guys, so I just rinsed the color off. I mean, what? Wait, what? Like, so cray. Like I expected, though, some pieces are still blondish. Honey, I saturated the crap out of this hair. Like, it was dripping in color. But that's just because some of the purple went over a very yellow spot. So the purple is the opposite of yellow on the color wheel. So it kind of just counteracted each other and made a cooler blonde instead of actually making it purple. But I ended up really loving the way it came out. I was gonna put more color on it, just to make it more opaque and cover up those blonde strands, but I really don't mind it and I think it looks really cool with the blonde strands going through it. So we're gonna give her a blow dry and style her and I'll show you guys how it looks when it's all done. So I lied, I actually did end up doing the root color again. That's why it looks so, so blue now. It just, I wasn't happy with it before. I would have been mad at myself if I left it like that. So I went over it again, saturated it even more and got a bluer color now and it looks way better. It's way, way better. So yeah, it's 2 a.m. now and I'm gonna start blow drying this and finish it off and I will show you guys the end result. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here is the final result. Can you even believe that this is the same wig? Cause I truly cannot believe it. Holy crap. This is definitely my favorite transformation I've ever done on a wig. It's now 3.30 in the morning and I'm just wrapping up. But you know what? It's always worth it when something comes out this pretty. I'm so happy with it. Oh my God, like this needs to be my real hair. Or should I just wear a wig every day? Should this be my new hairstyle? Let me know, just comment below. Let me know if you guys think I can rock this every day. <laughs> Imagine. I'm just like, hey guys, like showing up at brunch with my, my cute new hair. I'm delusional right now. It's so late, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't stop touching it. I'm sorry. And my hands are all purple and my jacket's purple. And you know what? I'm okay with it because I'm very happy with this wig. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to keep up with my life a little bit more. At BradMondoNYC. 
it. There'll be a link below for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace!